Hello everybody and welcome to yet another entry into that infamous Chroma contest, this time a Gravitational Defiance, created by Dre Bolio. So a very big thank you to Dre Bolio and now fly! Fly? Fly? No fly. No fly. Okay, probably, probably because those aren't actually on. I'm guessing from the description, those are the mentioned Aperture Gravitational Defiance emitters, which are purple for some reason and apparently they are not actually on. I'm guessing it's that X there, which appears to go through foliage and connect to a laser receiver up there. And there's another one for our exit by the looks of it as well. Uh, we've got a thermal discouragement beam, which is handy because we need lasers. Uh, there is a button here, a button that does. Button that does, button that delivers a laser refraction cube down into the pit that we're going to fly across. And a bunch more panels. Also a fizzler overhead. And you, you're very clearly indicated as a panel to pay attention to because you line up perfectly with that. Okay, let's go grab that cube then and get a laser in there and try some aperture gravitational defiance. You go into... Yeah, that looks like a convenient place. Those are not portallable at all. So you go into there then and that will give us our laser directly across a lovely purple hue and now we can go ahead and float that's that's not floating that is the opposite of floating that is not gravitational defiance that is gravitational ultra compliance look how pitiful my jump is i'm so heavy ah, there's a shell's weight joke in there somewhere um yeah that's that's not defying i thought you we were going to be flying to me defying means flying uh okay right well that Changes everything I was thinking for this map then. Um, why am I super heavy down in this pit? Why would you want me super heavy in this pit? Is everywhere super heavy now? That's going to turn it off, right? If we go back up to here. And oh, okay, yeah. Thermal discouragement is activated. You are working. I don't want to touch you again. If I reactivate that now. That one. Nope. Fizzler in the way. That one and that one. Is it everywhere? It's just, just in the pit, right? Just within this emissions here from the emitters. Uh, also, according to description, those are inspired by a map called Levitation, created by Agent 730. So, as always, all map description links will be in the description, which is how that comes out of my mouth when I say it in completely the wrong order, apparently. Um, yeah, so why am I really, really heavy in here? I mean, again, that's not defiance. That's, oh yes, Mistress Gravity, pull me harder. Definitely, definitely a joke about Shell's weight here. I'll leave that up to you in the comments. Um, So why? Why? If it's not floating up there, then it's got to be a fling, I guess. But that's going to turn everything off as soon as I touch the fizzler. But you don't want it on? No, you wouldn't want it on, right? Because as soon as you got into here, you just plummet. Right, so what's the point of pulling me down into the pit even harder then? Uh, let's get back up top and get those turned back on. I mean, they're the entire point of the map. We're probably going to need them for some reason. So is it... Oh, is it... Um, You know that whole portal gaming mechanic... Oh, right on the edge here is still rather heavy. That whole portal mechanic thing of you drop to, you launch to. So wait, what's that launch without without any additional gravity? Pretty pitiful, but if we drop into there at like double double speed, which would be I guess two blocks height, making it four blocks height, depending on which planetary gravity we're actually working with here. That will give me more speed for more launch. That's kind of an interesting mechanic. Uh let's do you and you. So does that mean we can like effectively double the height you can drop from in a smaller space? But I lose... But as soon as I reposition the portal... Don't we lose this special, special gravity? Yeah. So we need, like, all the force of the drop... Before we... Okay, so it's, it's put the portal at the very, very last second before impacting the floor at extra velocity. Um... Yeah, okay, that's kind of clever. Let's try that then if we do you. You to get us back up here. Careful not to get thermally discouraged. 
that one and that one again, please. So replace the orange at the very last possible second before floor-based impact. Like that? Yeah, okay, no. Yeah, that's that's quite fun, actually. It means you can, like, double the player's velocity in less space, being able to turn it on and off. Yeah, I could see that being um, kind of useful and confusing and awkward to work with. Also, again, not at all defying gravity, I suppose. I'd just bugger off out there if I could fly, to be completely honest. Uh, let's get this exit open. That's going to need a laser receiver. There is a panel there, conveniently placed and meshed off for laser reception. Oh, there's some green in here. Is green? Is green flying? Green? Green is 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 flying? Is that flying? That's just sort of haphazardly floating about the place more than flying. Yeah, that's sort of only partially paying attention to gravity. Still, cool, we do get to do some form of flying. I thought we were going to be, like, full-on defying it, though. I was expecting some sort of, like, no clip, but more controlled. Okay, yeah, so purple, extra heavy. Shell jokes implied. Green, floaty. Shell's diet is working fabulously. Um, right, more science. Uh, I see green emitters up there. So we can make this room floaty at some point. Or is it just within... It's just within the emitters, isn't it? Is that what that little space in there was telling us? Also, you seem really out of place. Why are you specifically here? You kind of just line up straight across. Straight across, I'm guessing deadly, deadly goo. Yeah, a bunch of... Ooh, you're doing that thing. You're doing that thing where you don't know who you should reflect when and where. Okay, we'll try and ignore that. Uh, so we can probably go ahead and convey straight across. There is a button here for cube delivery. Straight into the goo. So I wonder if we need to float the cube? How do we turn those on? Is it that? That appears to be like a railway of defiance. Yeah, aperture, aperture science, gravitational defiance emitters. I'm I'm stuck in the floor. There, gravity defiance would have been very handy just then. Um, everything else is across the deadly, de deadly goo. I, sorry, I just find that really distracting when it happens. A uh, bunch of panels up above. More panels over here. So, we, yeah, let's go ahead and convey across then, I suppose. We can use you, which is probably what you're specifically lined up there for. Over this side of the room, there is a whole load of ant lines. One going all the way up to there, where I'm going to guess our exit is. Uh, the defiance, emis emi uh, bleh, defiance emitters actually continue past the fizzler over into this side. And is it these? Yeah, okay, so that button turns on the gravitational defiance emitters. I'm guessing just up within those rails, right? That sort of defines the gravity-defying area. Uh, there is more up on the next level here. If I actually place the portal properly, that would help a lot. Up on this level, we've got a button. This button. This button turns off the fizzler, but not all of it turns off like the bottom half of the fizzler. It does give you access to everything back that way. It doesn't turn off the top ones. Wait, is that... that line there? That ant line just appears to sort of disappear into the ceiling. Is that turning off? That doesn't turn off the top ones at all. What is that doing all the way back there? Is that turning on a fizzler? Oh yeah, okay, that's turning on a fizzler at that uh, bunch of panels right at the very top there. Ones that actually, thinking about it, we're probably going to need to convey through, right? Because that's what lines up with those. Yeah, uh, what else was up on the next level here then? Just you, you only appear to do a big chunk of the fizzler. And yeah, there is our exit already open and waiting for us. So, that suggests convey up to the fizzler? Convey up to the Fizzler, then float elegantly and delicately into our exit there. Something tells me it's not going to be quite that easy, though. Uh, we need a cube to be able to do anything, since they're actually cube buttons. And you. Right, well, we've got a Fizzler and a meshed-off panel. Meshed-off panels usually mean, hey, thing goes through here, just not you. And in this case, the only thing that can go through there is the conveyance beam. So, why? because you line up with that button over there. So some sort of switching is needed as well. Um, we need to get that cube. Nothing reversificates the conveyance beam. 
So, wasn't there a panel down here? Yeah, do you line up with the tube? You do line up with the tube. Let's use you and you for getting back over then. Come back down to this side. Got blue there, so orange on you. Conveyance beam will bring the cube over to us here. And then I suppose the cube's got to go back to the other side because that's the only place to actually do anything with a cube. Okay, let's do orange on you. You can come over here and I'm going to guess sit on here for the moment. Actually, you'd have to sit on there first, wouldn't you, if we're going to convey you off there. But I don't know why I want to do that yet. Um, well, you can't be on there first if we've got a conveyance out of there. There's a platform up there, isn't there? And a panel. So I'm supposed to be up there at some point to make use of the conveyance beam. More panels up there that I wasn't paying any attention to. Is there anything else going on? What do you line up with? An awkward corner of wall, so not much use. Um, holes with tubes in. Holes with other things that I'm supposed to find? Secrets? No, just a cube lodged in the tube. Okay, uh, right, so... I guess I need to be coming out of there at some point with the conveyance beam. And then... That just gets us up into the flotational area. And then we just, like, float across? I haven't had a chance to check if the Gravitational Defiance floaty version actually keeps you up in the air the whole time or not. I felt like in that room before, it actually kind of dropped us after a little bit. Or I may have just been drifting out of the emitters. Uh, so everything's going to have to be up there then, right? So to do that, we need to be back up there. Back up here, we can turn things off with you. Let's do that one and that one. And then, oh, you extend quite a bit. Can I get into it from here? If I get into it from here, we could just grind along the ceiling. No, you're not going to let me use it from here. So you have to be within these, like, metallic strips to actually be defying of gravity, or at least partially complying, at least. Uh, in that case, then, I can't use you now, can I? No, we could do... You and can't do you. You can do that, which I don't think we're supposed to be able to do. That won't be any use though, will it? Because as soon as I go through, unless you could grab me here in that way that so you sometimes awkwardly do. No, okay, fine. So that's clearly to stop you coming through at the same time. So in that case, that has to be off, which means the cube can't be on the button over there, which means it should be there first and then gets conveyed away. So let's go set all of that nonsense up. Uh, let's do orange on you and go completely the wrong way because I wasn't paying attention. Go up, up to the ceiling. Thank you. Through the foliage. Drop me back here. Yeah, so it makes sense that that's not on to start with. Yeah, it'd have to be up on that button first. I said thank you. It'd have to be up on this button first. Uh, lever portal... Leave a portal there, but then I don't actually have access to the conveyance beam there, so... There would make more sense. And there, but I can't go through there, so we can use that one and move the orange. From that side, we can see that panel from here, yeah? Yeah, so we can convey the cube across and drop it. So dropping it will turn on the things, but we lose the conveyance beam, but I'll already be up there, so I've just got to get it on in time before I touch the fizzler. Or I touch the fizzler, it drops and I continue to float. It's one of those, right? Let's uh, quick save here. Let's do... No, not you first. Let's do there and there. No, I'd have to move it before... It's going to have to be... The uh, conveyance beam is going to have to be repositioned before I touch the fizzler. But even that's going to turn it off. Does it get there in time? If we do you and then... Oh, that cuts off really quick. There? No, nope, that's bad. That would have been certain death. That's going to cut off instantly. Uh... That setup like that has to be a thing, right? Since it's actually there, otherwise there's no use 
for the meshed off panel. So how do I actually make use of that then? That's why there's fizzlers at the top, right? To like turn it off, but they block your shot really quickly. So you and you. And it would be moving the orange. There's no way I get there in enough time for it to... No, and that puts me in the goo. Okay, um... I can't get in the conveyance beam if that's already on the button. So I've got to be, like, travelling there before the cube starts travelling? There's no way to just go up. It has to be, like, going along the ceiling here. Otherwise, there'd be no point in the emitters all the way back here. So I need, like, time to actually... Reposition stuff. This is on all the time. That's how we get time. Um, in that case, then, let's do... Orange on you for the moment. And... Yeah, because then I, I can swap it then, right? So, blue on you. You go over there and do your thing. Which actually makes perfect sense, since design-wise I'm allowed to see that's lined up. And then if I remember the correct portals... Now? And things are on. And I'm floating, I'm floating delicately, beautifully, all the way over there. That's, that's actually really quite fun to play with. Yeah, okay, I can only imagine this is about to get way more complicated. We haven't even combined the two yet. Uh, big drop. Very, very, very big drop. No floaty. No, no floaty? Why no floaty? No floaty and big drop would kind of make sense to be combined, right? Because then... No death? Um... Panel? Panel obscured by foliage? No? Just, just, just an actual tiny jump. Okay, yeah, sure, fine. I was expecting more gravitational shenanigans there. Let's do the ceiling over there then and get through to... Yeah! God damn it! Oh, thank fuck that you actually saved me here. Yeah, that that was just pure, pure stupidity on my part. Uh, jump over to here. Let's make sure that's as far over actual floor as possible before we jump through. I managed to find the one hole in the floor. The one hole in the bloody floor that you could actually fall through and I managed to find it. Of course I did. Okay, uh, floaty. No, not floaty here. Floaty over here. Oh, we can actually see how floaty is this here. You take me continuously. We're slowing down. Yeah, that's not like full-on defiance. That's just lower gravity, really, than anything, which I suppose is a form of defiance. I mean, any sort of thing out of the usual rules of gravity, technically kind of defiant, right? So we can float halfway up. And then... Oh, well, that gives us another way of doing an extra height drop, right? If we had you, which I'm guessing is what that panel there is for. And um, we... Shimmy? Yeah, shimmy. We do that, we float up. And then before we get to the apex, we kind of shimmy over. And that, and... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's that's actually more defiant of the gravity there. That's interesting, like, second secondary use of it. Because we had the purple doubling our velocity, and you can actually use the floaty version to also double your velocity in a way by giving you extra height than what you can get to. Yeah, this is, this is quite clever mechanics. I'd like to see more of this. Uh, although thinking about it, this is probably where they get combined and get really confusing. Yeah, look, there's purple and there's green. Okay, this is where it gets confusing. Our exit's open. No, you haven't really. Is it that? Is it really... No. That is the cockiest already open exit I've ever seen in a map. It's just this tiny, tiny little ledge means we can't get out of here. Even if I was to, like, sort of shift my ass up onto it. No. Okay, that. 
That is cheeky and ever so slightly insulting. I like this map. Um, what else have we got in here? Why can we extra pull in here? Because we've got an extra place to drop into. So that's for double the velocity kind of flings. We've got buttons up on the wall. Gravitational defiance above the deadly deadly goo here in a cube delivery tube. What do these buttons do? The top one is on a timer. Angled panel. Angled panel connects to a button over there. Is that actually a panel? It's just one of those arms, right? No. Okay, so you're there for some presumably awkward reason to do with getting in the way of things floating, looking at it. How do we turn these ones on? Uh, to turn those ones on, is it... The bottom button does... Is that a fizzler emitter? It looks like there's a fizzler emitter here. So the bottom button looks like it will turn off the extra gravity in here, which we're going to need to get past the cheekiest of exit obstacles. Uh, yeah, so get a cube, right? How do I get a cube? Actually, what does that button do with that panel there? And can I see it if we get back in time? It does something on a timer. Yeah, okay, that gets that out the way. For quite a while. And then it comes back out. So rely on floaty gravity? That's got to be floaty gravity, right? Because that's the green one in there. Um, how do I get that cube? And is this for me... You know what, let's quick save here. Is this for me to just float over there? You know, <laughs> at the last moment. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to the track before, right? Yeah, that's also kind of cheeky. That's like, hey, you could happily float over here. Nope. Yeah, I should have been paying attention. It cuts off there, right? Yeah, this is quite fun to play with. Um, I can imagine it being used for quite a lot of really awkward mechanics. Uh, so that's not for us to float across. How do I get that cube? What connects to that cube delivery tube? Something I wasn't paying? There's a button there that I walked straight past, isn't there? Ah, as indicated, cube delivery. So you're going to float? Oh, look how slowly it falls. I'm tempted to go and grab it, but we know that drops to death. So there's a conveyance beam over there. Uh, we do. We do have extra velocity drop, though, right? So, oh, hold on, is it that one? Probably that one, since it's higher up, right? That one... And extra velocity drop down into here. Don't have to worry about timing this time. Because I'm not going to be turning it off. Like that. Chucks us clear across over this side. Conveyance beam with adjacent convenient panel. Slightly wonky button in the corner. Wonky button in the corner does... Heard something. Ah, did you? Did you? Hold on. Is that a panelable surface? Panelable? Portalable paneled surface? It is. So that's for getting up into there, probably with a launch as well. Is that sufficiently broken glass? No, it's not quite. Uh, it's defiant glass. Um, okay. Cube. Cube grabbed by conveyance beam, so... Get back there and reangulate stuff. Yeah, you do line up with those panels there. Okay, so leave one there, leave one there. Where is that button? The button is here and then if we do swap the blue up to where the conveyance beam goes we should be able to get ourselves a cube yes as it slowly falls into the conveyance beam's path cool right uh where do i actually need to have you now then buttons on the wall i'm gonna take it back over there a sec buttons on the wall over here but i can't do anything with them without the conveyance beam that does line up with that there, right? And panel behind mesh. Mesh means conveyance beam goes through me, but not with cube this side. So that one first. Conveyance beam pushes it on there. That's on a timer doing something. Then we're going to have to get that thing out the way. Cube drops. Conveyance beam gets shifted to you. Cube presses. And what did that do? That just turns off that and puts on 
puts on the fizzler, which is probably going to be awkward to work with at some point. Okay, so we're going to need the conveyance beam over here. Uh, only place to get the conveyance beam is back over that side. So I guess I want to do you first. Yeah, okay, so let's go get the conveyance beam back then. Uh, take you over here. So I'm guessing we need a way to actually go around. If we do you and you. Yeah, you and you. Take me up to here and then like that. Then we're over this side with conveyance beam. But without cube? Can I have that higher up so that the cube... Yeah, that should send the cube back around to us, right? If we get a new cube now, we lose the panel on the floor. You're going to go into there and completely miss the place I need you to go. Really? Can I have that a little bit higher in a new cube then? I swear sometimes these conveyance beams have a really like wide area of effect. No, apparently not. Apparently that completely misses altogether. Okay, uh, that one then. That one doesn't line up with the delivery tube at all. Is that why you're angulated? Yeah, okay, that tiny little detail of that being ever so slightly wonky. That should do it. Uh, if we remember to move it in a sec. You go shift that way and then like now grab in the other one. And if I get over here in time, yeah, we'll get you back here and we got the conveyance beam over here. Cool. That's useful enough for me to think I should hit quick save. So the next step is press... It'd have to be the top one first, right? I'm guessing the top one turns on gravity for a period of time. Uh, so to do that then, it would be conveyance with orange out of you. Got to get the cube up to that first though, which is why the floor and another one of these, hey, put a portal on me panels is here. So you go on there. Uh, yeah, send you up. Send you up to the ceiling without going too far and then across and you're going to do that button there. That button there makes that area floaty. Oh, because it slowly drops, right? Yeah, again, that's not really defiance. Again, I, I wanted to fly. I really thought... Ooh. Hello, where the hell did you come from? Apparently that also does this. Yeah, I thought we were going to be like no clipping, but without, um, you know, but without, without the wall passage through thing. Passage through thing. What the fuck? Without going through walls, without the actual no clipping, I thought we'd be moving about in 3D space. We're kind of just saying, hey, gravity... I'm not really following your rules today, which, yeah, fair enough, is, is gravitationally defiant. Um, so you doing that up there. Why did you do this? You doing this over there. So if I convey myself over there, you'll start falling. And there was a timer indicator. Press the button. Gets rid of that. And then I have to get back here in time to put a conveyance beam out of you so that you'll press that which deactivates the extra gravity the gravity plus and we can step over the tiny tiny condescending little step yeah okay uh quick save here then so well oh, i have to do this quite quick when i um convey there press button convey back portal on there right i think try it. Alright, convey across and then then you and convey back that's on a timer there and then there did that, did that do it? Yes yes we are no longer being pulled to the earth at an ungodly velocity um yeah okay I really quite like those mechanics they interestingly have like two states of use each is that actually the exit that is actually the exit. Yeah, you can use both of them in sort of two states in a way. And the fact that you can get double the velocity in a smaller space if that's on and being able to turn it back off means you could sort of double the mechanics that could give you. That was Gravitational Defiance created by Dre Bolio. So a very big thank you to Dre Bolio. Yeah, I like that.
And it's not often you get to say, hey, gravity, fuck you. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.